With the third and final term of the year coming to an end, we come to speak to the principal of Mandume Primary School to share with us the pros and cons of free education after government implemented it at the beginning of this year. Uh, in the past, we used to rely on the, le on the parents to contribute through school development fund uh, at primary level. And now that it is uh, moved out, we are now getting our finances from the government, uh, which started this year. And so far, it has been good because it uh, made me able to, it, it enabled me to concentrate more on teaching instead of having to create better ways to request parents to pay. Except what uh, we experienced at the beginning of the year with the late uh, arriving of the materials, otherwise the money has been really coming on time. Money will never be enough. So for a school to run smoothly, there are areas that this money does not cover. And this money we are still going to get from the parents through our fundraising activities at school level. Government is pulling out all stops to ensure that every Namibian child enjoys their right to learn. Be that as it may, critics argue that free education is potentially more beneficial to rural schools as they need less funding to run their institutions. Urban schools have apparently been cornered to scale down their budgets due to limited funds provided by government. For the News on One, I'm Kauna Hoabib.